The subject was in her exclusionary zone for about 20 minutes. She then had a strap tamper while leaving the exclusion zone. Uh, and then they went and they found her and they picked her up. And then it says, the subject device looked like it was tampered with. I have included a couple of images with this report that shows the device has been cut. She also had a roll of tin foil in the front seat of the vehicle. Zero one, the people of the state of Michigan versus Nicole Brown, defendant is charged with one count of assault or assault and battery. And this sounds like something Ms. Stevenson did. Um, <laughs> Some bi scheduled bond violation that I never even seen that on my docket before. Appearances, please. For the record, Your Honor, Christina Miller on behalf of the people. Janice Stevenson appearing on behalf of Ms. Nicole Brown. Ms. Brown, ma'am, please unmute and tell the judge your full name. Good morning, Your Honor, Nicole Brown. What's your middle name? Do you have one? Um, Nicole Brown is actually an alias. My name is Destiny Nicole Kloicki. Okay. Mr. Flanagan, do we have an alias on her file? On the file, yes, Your Honor. It does state that. So is this the case? When when was Ms. Brown here previously? Ms. Brown came to this courtroom for a tether violation on, I don't remember the date. I think it was Monday. Yes. And because of the specific conditions that this court ordered um, for the, so the court, I'm not sure if the court has the tether violation, but the entire um, violation hearing was adjourned to today to be heard by this court. Oh, so she, Okay. So this is different from the one that Judge um, Yancey asked me about. Uh, yes, that, I think this is it. I think this is the one she would have been asking you about. No, Judge. This case was heard in front of Judge, or the tether violation was originally in front of Judge Jefferson. So I think this was. Oh, right. that's right. This that's right. right. Oh. Thank you, Ms. Ritter. Okay, well then, let's see. 2,000 years later. Oh, okay. Missing you <laughs> So, um, well, my request is the same that I would have made to Judge Jefferson in that the court um, did have some pretty specific tether conditions um, that Ms. Brown was only to be released to a treatment facility, Your Honor. So I'm not sure even how we got into this situation, but I am asking um, that the matter continue as scheduled to. Well, what, what treatment facility did she get released to? I don't think she, I don't think she got released to a treatment facility. Is this the violation and say she was in a, an automobile? Well, that doesn't mean she didn't get released to a treatment facility. The treatment facility, they're going to let her go. They're not going to hold her against her will. So she was, um, so Ms. I can ask Ms. Brown that actually, if they sent, did they send you to a facility? Um, yes, Naomi's nest. Sound like she said they sent to Naomi's nest. Which is what this court ordered that she go to. And then it seemed like she walked away from it and went to the exclusion zone. And then it seemed like she tried to take off her tether. Well, we had a conversation about that. And she says she didn't try to take off the tether, Your Honor, but um, she was in an area where she should not have been well i mean that's what she said yes but sergeant leonard spencer oh no he was notified whoever did this report said when they picked her up 
uh, and they included a couple of images which which I don't have that show that the tether was looking cut. Now, come on, now somebody, come on, now. Without the only thing I want to deal with is truth. If you if you're gonna not tell the truth, then don't speak. So they said they had. Now I don't have the photographs. So let me just be clear. My copy of the tether report. Violation report does not have a photograph, but it says that the signal shifted into cellular triangul triangulation. This usually happens when a subject has a signal, signal or the individual is trying to mask the device. The subject was in her exclusionary zone for about 20 minutes. She then had a strap tamper while leaving the exclusion zone. Uh, and then they went and they found her and they picked her up. And then it says, the subject device looked like it was tampered with. I have included a couple of images with this report that shows the device has been cut. She also had a roll of tin foil in the front seat of the vehicle. Yeah. So, Honey, I'm focused now, and I am ready. Yeah, you said that right. last time. We was all focused. Miss Stevenson, I'm not changing nothing, and she gonna be on house arrest this time. You gonna go back to? It ain't no exclusions on. It's house arrest. She, it, it, she's charged with assault and battery. It's a, it's a 93 day misdemeanor. I don't want to keep her in jail. Um, however, she going to treatment on house arrest. Now, you know, all I can say is one of the saddest days um, that I've had in terms of dealing with people who need uh, assistance in, in drug assistance the, is when the young lady graduated from drug treatment court or was three days away from graduating from drug treatment court and then went in the drug house and they found her dead from an overdose. Listen, all I can tell you is Every time I eat a bag of chips, I only think of if you if you keep doing this and the result is going to be this, you have nobody to blame but yourself. Now, the fight is real. The struggle is real. But we can't make you get help. Help is only if you want to get help. And if you if you don't want to fight for your life, then we can't fight for it either. I mean, we, we're not going to be able to fight for your life. And you just go keep walking away from the drug houses. I mean, the drug rehab. So I, I'm not suggesting that it's not hard. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But come on, whoever taking you there, they're not your friend. Whoever is trying to do that, they're not your friend. They're, they don't love you. They don't care nothing about you. Whoever is trying to help you get drugs, they don't care about you. They don't care about you. They don't care about you. They lie to you. So I'm going to continue with the, I'm going to try again. If at first you don't succeed, what? Try, try again. Uh, we're going to try again and help you. We're going to try again and help you. I'm going to amend my order to what if that it's a house arrest tethered to Naomi's nest. Now, if she walked away, I don't know if Naomi's nest going to take her back, but I don't know their rules. I'm hopeful that they're open to receiving people who walk away because they should know that, um, you know, the people need more than one chance to try to, um, you know, to try to uh, get off drugs or whatever. Yes, ma'am, you were trying to say something to me? Yes, Your Honor. I don't know if my insurance is going to pay for it because we don't. Um, you know, I, we don't need no insurance. We not. We don't look for no insurance. It's the one eight hundred number. One eight hundred. Get get help for drugs. I called it. They only do it three times a year, and I voluntarily went a couple months ago and did complete a program. But I before well, that it is. It's Naomi's nest or jail. That's all I can tell you. That's it. That's all. So if your insurance not gonna pay for it, and Naomi's nest not gonna keep you there, then we just gonna have to fast track this here. We gonna have to fast track this case because she gonna be in jail. Because what she's where she's not gonna be is at a drug house on my time, on my while the case is pending in front of me. So it's Naomi's nest, or I, I won't say Naomi's nest. It's a treatment facility 
or jail. Now, if we want to go ahead and try to uh, uh, resolve the case, uh, I could put her on the docket right quick. You could decide what you want to do. And if it is turning out to be a plea, we can get her into drug treatment court and they can they have much more, uh, you know, they have much more ability. They don't, the person don't have to have no insurance to go to drug court. That's why I know what I'm saying. Ain't no insurance of all, we don't, we can't say drug treatment court is only for people with insurance. Absolutely not. No, okay. they have money to pay. So right now it's, it's treatment facility, house arrest, tethered house arrest to the treatment facility or it is so as soon as she leave there it's going to trigger that she's out violating the, the conditions and then we could try to get her back in here as quick as possible i don't know what what stage are we at this said pre-trial no this is just a violation has she already been in front of me for the pre she, she has her pre-trial on august 29th your honor all right we can we can i could I could fast track. I don't know. Did you already contact your um complainant for that? Probably for that date. For that date, Judge. But just some information for the court, Your Honor. I'm looking in the investigator's report. It looks like this incident happened at the address that's part of the exclusion zone. Right. And the complainant witness lives at that address as well. So, from my understanding of the investigator's report, um, the defendant and the complainant witness were roommates. I don't know the relationship, but I know they live in the same home. I think I knew that, and I think I said I was keeping this. Okay. Because Judge Garrett is off, and I wasn't going, I wasn't going to um, risk it. That's fine. I just want the court to know. I would like to just to keep the August 29th pretrial date, if we could. All right, well, we're going to keep it. And right now, she's going to be in jail or she's going to be at a treatment facility on house arrest. And if you tamper with this tether, if you tamper with this tether, you're just going to be in jail. And, and, and just tell your... To, I mean, y'all sure know how to tamper with a tether. Yeah, you can put that aluminum foil on there. They still gonna find you. Like, really, literally, you think. If it was that easy to just, oh, put some foil on there, they don't know how to find it, You violate it already. As soon as you put the foil on there, as soon as they can't track you, you violate it. But, I mean, you, it, it's, it's, I'm just gonna do the best I can while I have you with me. And after that, if you're going to go somewhere and just be on drugs, then I, I won't be able to do nothing about it. But while you're with me, we're going to fight. I'm going to be in the ring. I'm fighting. And then we'll see how it works out. So that's my order. House arrest to either back to Naomi's nest or... Or positive images, please. No, that sounds like somewhere you know the system at. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. No, we ain't going to positive images. You sound like you know the system. <laughs> so no, now, I, I now that you said that, I'm going to exclude positive in, images. She can't go to positive images. She can only go to Naomi's Nest and Team Wellness. Oh, no, that's the place that said they don't take women. Right. So, so... Naomi's Nest, I'm going to call Judge Holmes to see where else they send women and we'll put it on the list, but not, not positive images. I only ask that because it's a good program and I have completed it before. Well, then how good is the program? So let, let's, let's talk about that. How good is the program if you completed it and we back in the same situation? That's like somebody saying, I went to a great law school, but I can't pass the bar. I've been taking it for 10 years. No, then the pro, then your law school wasn't that good. It didn't teach you the stuff you needed to know to pass the bar. Either that or you just not participating. So it wasn't no good program if you back in the same situation. So now we're going to send you to a great program. We, we're going to forego the good program. We're going to try to find a great program. Okay. Anything else with respect to Miss 
um, Brown. No, thank you, Church. No, thank you very much, Your Honor. And we're all set until August 29th, and she'll either be at a facility or she'll be where she is. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. You're all set. Hopefully, I'll see you on August 29th. Thank you. You're welcome. How long has she been in custody? Since August. About a month. It hasn't been no month. It said August 2nd on the report. It might seem like a month because you probably been high the whole time. No, because I was, and then I came back a couple hours later. Okay.